and then football preseason ends and the military oh. structure begins. <laughs> yeah, I thought that during the football camp, that's how it was going to be. You played football, you get to wear your own clothes, you know, you had a good meal to eat. And then when the first day of school began and all the cadets came in wearing uniforms, I had to put my pedestrian clothes in a bag and store them away, trade in my pedestrian clothes for a uniform, boots, all of this. And then I was like, okay, then I was swimming. I was struggling. I didn't know what way I was just like, everything's going like all at once. Got my books for class, got my schedule. Uh, I saw my name on a board that said it had all these duties you had to do. I had to wax the floors, take out the trash, uh, clean the bathroom, all of these things. And I saw my name uh, just interspersed in various spots. Ah, didn't pay attention. So, you know, I'm going on my free time, went down to the SD, shot some hoops, and you know, went over and got a couple cheeseburgers, did my thing, and it was time for uh, for us to um, salute the flag for it to go down. And uh, uh, my platoon sergeant says, uh, "George, you missed your your um, your duties, and you're gonna not only are you gonna do tomorrow night, but you got it for the rest of the week by yourself during your free time." I said, okay, whatever. <laughs> he says, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, your phone call privileges are done, too. And I said, all right, whatever. So I still went ahead. I didn't I didn't do the chores. I didn't take out the trash and do any of that. I had, what, about 20 demerits from that. And I learned quickly. When they took away my time, I had to march. Um, I had to do my the, 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 the tours. I had to do the uh, chores by myself. I said, okay, I, I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. And it, and it was tough. I mean, it was a, truly a culture shock. But once I got used to it, it it, um, it whooped me into shape and, I, and I, I've learned to really, truly respect it. What would you say to guys that are in your situation uh, having to show respect to officers who may be even younger than Oh, that? yeah, I mean, you know what? The, uh, Danny Osmond, who was the platoon sergeant at the time, was younger and small, smaller than me and bossing me around, it was tough to take orders from somebody and to, to have them tell you to to do something, uh, when to do it and how to do it. And if it's not done correctly, they will rip it off, you know, throw everything down and you have to do it all over again. You know, you want to start a fight. Um, very difficult, but the part of being a man and becoming a man is learning to be humble is humility, and that um, had to be taught to me in those lessons. And once I have humbled myself, and once I respected the system and respected him for who he was and how he earned his stripes, um, I was able to then um, find my life a lot better. So it was difficult, very difficult to take orders from someone that you felt that I was more, that in person I felt like I was superior. Uh, but you have to learn respect and you have to earn your stripes going up through the ranks here.